watch till the end to get this full recipe. Who you know when legit and made it up out the hood? Who you know when legit and made it up out the hood? Okay, you're gonna need some salmon. Thick center cut will be best. A half a stick of butter, some garlic cloves, some Parmesan, some canned mushrooms, some heavy whipping cream, some salt and pepper, some garlic powder, and some olive oil. Let's get started. Okay, let's start by seasoning our salmon nicely with salt and pepper and your garlic powder. Next, you're going to finely chop your garlic. Then let's get a pan and put about two tablespoons of olive oil in it and let that heat up. When that heats up, then you know that your salmon is ready to go in. Place your salmon in the pan, um, skin side up. And you're gonna let those cook for about three to four minutes. When you notice that the salmon is turning from pink to white from the bottom up, then go ahead and flip those over. You're looking for that nice golden brown pan sear. And then you're gonna just let those cook again for about three to four minutes on that side. Look how perfectly cooked that looks. After that's done, if you notice that it's pretty crispy on the bottom, then you go ahead and remove them and just set that to the side. And in that same pan, go ahead and add your half a stick of butter and let that begin to melt down. You're still on a pretty medium, medium to high heat. Okay, then you're gonna go ahead and add your garlic, add your mushrooms. I like to add the juice of the mushroom as well. And also, mushrooms are optional. At this point, you do not have to add the mushrooms if you do not like mushrooms. It'll still be just as good. But if you like mushrooms, then you'll really like the mushrooms. It adds just a really good flavor. Okay, then go ahead and add your heavy whipping cream. Add some more salt and pepper and some more garlic powder. And then you're just gonna whisk that around for about two minutes constantly on a medium heat. Oh, but don't forget to subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you won't be stressed about what to cook and have one less thing to worry about. And then when it starts to simmer, go ahead and add your Parmesan cheese. And just go ahead and give that a stir and let that cheese melt down in there. Okay, and when that cheese is melted, go ahead and add your salmon right back into that pan. And just let that cook down for another about three minutes, but this time you're on a low simmer and just spoon your Alfredo sauce all over your salmon. Oh, and don't forget the um, parsley flakes for garnish. When that starts to simmer, you know it's done. I like to sometimes add some um, or some angel hair pasta. I also like to serve this recipe over some butter mashed potatoes, which you'll see at the end. Um, I also did a version of that too. But um, yeah, you can just go ahead and add some pasta in and that'll make it a meal pretty much. You can make it with some rice, um, some garlic bread, just some vegetables if you like, however which way. Um, this, this recipe will be good over anything basically is what I'm trying to say. Um, but just go ahead and just let that marry together if you're gonna serve it with the pasta. It's so good guys. Mmm, eat your screen. Okay, and then I just had sauteed up some fresh spinach and some olive oil with a little bit of salt and a little bit of garlic powder just to add some greens. And this is the version where I made um, some butter mash and a side of just green beans with it. 
Go ahead and comment down below for me. Would you rather have the butter mash or would you rather have pasta with this recipe? Thank you. For all the infidels, non-believers, fuck y'all. Taking this shit to higher grounds, man. Let's go.